for cheap gold, items and other boosts for Diablo 4, visit AOEAH.com. Check out the link in the description, you get 3% off with the code Ariad. Hello and welcome everybody. In this guide, I'll show you how to build a badass budget lightning spear mage, you don't need any uber items and you will already get some massive damage using average rolls and no greater affixes. In these recordings, my mage has really bad items, but as you can see, she just don't cares. And when the gear gets mid-maxed, she will escalate even more. Briefly the skill tree. The basic attacks Firebolt and Frostbolt get 1 point each, we will put them into the enchantment slots. We play 2 core skills at level 1, we will cast greater frozen orbs to reset the lightning spear cooldowns and they will also make enemies vulnerable. Destructive chain lightning also is not for the damage, it's just for generating crackling energy. We will only use single shots in between. We play 2 defensive skills, flame shield and teleport and as lightning spear is our main attack, we maximize it. We take summoned lightning spear, so we can increase the damage by crackling energy. We play some more passive skills for damage and damage reduction, but also static discharge and invigorating conduit, so we generate more crackling energy and we can refresh mana when collecting it, sometimes that is also very comfortable. Finally we use the ultimate unstable currents and the key passive verse mastery. The Paragon system is similar to my Chain Lightning build, but here I have put the board Elemental Summoner, because we need the legendary note. And I have put the Glyph Conjurer of course, but all the other stuff is just the same. Now the equipment. The most important unique item is the fractured winter glass and you want to have a high roll on the FX conjuration cooldowns are reduced when a frozen orb explodes. That's how we reset our spear cooldowns by casting orbs. So best is to get a greater FX here later on. The chance to cast frozen orbs twice also helps resetting the cooldowns faster and conjuration mastery skill levels massively increase your damage so it would be best to have all greater affixes of course. We also play a Tal Rasha ring for more cooldown reduction and damage, Fists of Fate, Esus boots and the Godslayer crown. Later we will replace it by a Harlequin crest. The Pan's Axial Conduit is a nice option for damage reduction and resource generation, but we will only be able to put it when we got a greater armor affix on the chest. Without greater affixes, you will need armor rolls on both, pants and chest. In that case, we can use the aspect of concentration on the pants. On the chest, we wanna have armor, mana per second and life or intelligence. Here I have put the ever living aspect. We wanna have critical strike chance and damage on the ring and attack speed also does fine here. Further we have to temper lightning spear cooldown and shock critical strike chance or damage. We put the aspect of frozen orbit here, so the lightning spear cooldowns will reset double that fast. And finally we play a two handed staff with the aspect of splintering energy, we wanna have critical strike damage, intelligence and life on it. And temper chance for extra lightning spears and critical strike damage for shock skills. The gameplay is easy and comfortable, you don't need to aim your lightning spears, they just will find their targets. To reset the cooldown, you will spam frozen orbs, which can also spawn additional lightning spears. In between, we can fire a chain lightning to generate crackling energy and collect it to boost the damage and recharge mana fast. We hit the ultimate for even more damage output, flame shield to protect, 
and use teleport for mobility. I wish you a lot of fun, take care and may the loot be with you. Follow me. Thank you. Goodbye. 